the Marangoni effect. The Marangoni effect refers to a transport phenomena found in the surface of liquids due to differences in surface tension. It was first described by James Thompson in 1855, further studied by Carlo Marangoni in 1865, and theoretically explained by J. Willard Gibbs on his magnum opus on the equilibrium of heterogeneous substances in 1875. Links on the description. Let's first look at two demonstrations of it and then dig deeper. First example. Take a plate, pour some water on it. Next, place a small drop of soap in the middle. Did you see the flow? Hopefully not, it is invisible. But if we add a marker such as pepper, we can see it. Let's give it another try. Interesting, huh? What has happened is that the drop of liquid soap produces a bearing surface tension on the water's surface, lesser at the middle and increasing towards the borders. Marangoni flows are from regions of low to regions of high surface tension. Next example, wine tears. Pour yourself some wine on a glass, wet the inner surface by rolling it around a little bit and observe carefully. Whatever wine crept up while whirling begins dripping down. Nothing interesting here. But when you keep looking, it seems to be constantly dripping. What happens is that at the thin film wetting the surface of the glass, the quick evaporation of alcohol makes for a more watery mixture. This film has a higher surface tension than the surface at the bulk and thus a Marangoni flow is established from the bulk of the wine and up the glass. And thus the tears are constantly fed. Okay, but why? Roughly speaking, surface tension can be thought of as the amount of resistance the surface of a liquid has to deformation. Imagine two elastic sheets extended on square frames. One surface made of a stiff elastic material, playing the role of a liquid with high surface tension and the other one made of a not-so-stiff elastic material representing the one with low surface tension. Now imagine stitching them together and placing them on a common rectangular frame. Would both of them be able to retain their square shapes? No. Think on the border between them. On one side it is being pulled hard by the red surface, and on the other side not so hard by the blue one giving a net force to the direction of the red one. Not being in equilibrium, it would have to move from the region of low surface tension to the region of high surface tension. Thus, the Marangoni effect. Okay, that's it. Cool footage follows. <laughs> 